Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, there were many comments on my YouTube videos uh, about how to install Qt, OpenCV, CUDA and kind of things on Windows side because there are many developers using Windows also. Actually, I'm a Linux user but also I want to start a new video series about uh, which I'm doing uh, computer vision, vision kind of things on Windows side because also there were many advantages for the Windows users so um, I want to start to a new series for the Windows side and uh, for the starting video I want to show how to install Qt because uh, on my all of videos I am generally using Qt so for the starting video I want to show how to install Qt on Windows first of all we are entering to the um, Qt web page and we are just clicking to the download and try part and here all you need to do is just clicking download Qt for Windows and just uh, fill this form and it's gonna give you an executable file which is in my case in this one and just double click into this one and enter your information which you entered to the form also just press next and it's gonna um, let you to go to the next pages and just continue okay just continue again here we are choosing the custom installation because other uh, default some default components are really huge and maybe you don't need to use them so better custom installation and here um, in the Qt side actually they are su just suggesting the latest version of Qt um, but I want to reach to the if you want to reach to the previous versions also all you need to do is just clicking to the archive and just filter it and it's gonna give you the other um, other versions of the Qt like 5, 4 and etc. Let's see if th this can take longer time maybe. Let's little wait about this one. Okay. Uh, actually also we will not only use Qt maybe in for some cases I want to show the uh, linking OpenCV and kind of libraries into the VS Code because VS Code is also mostly used. Um, on the computer vision side so uh, I can also make some project on the VS code side uh, but mostly we are gonna use Qt okay so after clicking archive and filter is gonna give you the previous versions of the uh, Qt actually I'm norm lastly I'm using 5 version of OpenSea 5.14 I lastly used but for maybe we can switch to the 6 version so we can try together also um, maybe 6.6 .6. I don't want to generally use the latest version, little uh, uh, lower than the latest is better I think. Just click to this one and I don't want to use WebAssembly. Um, MSVC is gonna be our use so they can, MinGV also in some cases we can use so I don't want to use Android. Um, 3D I will not use. Okay, maybe other things can stay so normally it was suggest it was telling me how many gigabyte this is gonna take time anyway so in here also um, these are can stay so we already chose our uh, version and we chose which packages we are wanna so we can switch to the next step and here there is an agreement just click to the next and next okay just press install okay yeah this is approximately 7 GB for my site and uh, if you choose uh, if you dis uh, deselect the add some huge packages it's gonna take less time but uh, 5, 7 is normally is fine because uh, there are many packages it's gonna install um, after the installation is done I can back again in here I can stop the video Okay, just uh, the installation is just finished and this screen is coming up and just clicking to the finish and um, Okay, I'm expecting it's launching to the Qt. Okay um, This is the Qt. So we installed successfully for example, we can open a simple project or we can just create or let's open a simple this one or Okay, not this one maybe. Just try to open this calculator and configure the project. This one we can close and running this calculator project and let's see how it works. 
ok it's working fine also we can create a simple qt quick project qml project um, this one compat maybe choose uh, next we can continue with cmake and uh, next ok finished so it opened a simple qt qml project but seems there is a problem here which is about window ok why it complains we did something wrong let's try again qt quick or not compact choose next uh, ok next here we are using msvc what it complains about no compiler set in kit so if we choose this one okay it's not com maybe about msvc there is an issue let's continue with minjiwi next finish okay this one we can close and this untitled one I expect this is work. Okay, so there is an issue about the MSVC. I will check it. But now, uh, example is working fine. This is working fine. And currently, we are using MinGV compiler and MSVC. I will check. Maybe there is some installation issues in there. I will check and I will let you know also. Uh, for this uh, video, we firstly just install Qt, and for the next video, we are gonna install OpenCV. Then we will continue to install other. Uh, applications other packages we are using so thanks for watching see you in the next video